Coach's Corner. I'm Joe Wamba, joined now with Graham Miller, head, head coach of the women's soccer team. Don't play last week, but plenty to talk about upsetting number six, Arcadia, on Saturday, 3-2 to two at home. Yeah, it was, uh, you know, we had, had our bye week uh, for the conference, and, you know, we came off that tough tie to Albright. So, um, you know, we had a lot to work on last week. You know, we, we weren't firing on all cylinders against Albright, and, you know, to get a tie there was, uh, you know, a little bit unexpected for us because we did expect to win that game. So this week we really had a chance to prepare and, uh, you know, watch the film on Arcadia, who's, a you know, great, always been a great program and just having a great season. You know, they're coming into our game, you know, number six, like you said, in the country, 14-0. Um, and 0. Um, you know, only, you know, I think outscored their opponents something ridiculous over the last mm -hmm. six games. So we knew it was going to be tough. And uh, we had to do a lot of preparation to get ready for Saturday. And, and it was just an amazing performance by the girls. And that preparation definitely paid off a lot on the set pieces. As it was where you guys got your conversions on the goals. Talk a little bit about how important those pieces are and even a long throw in is huge for you guys. Well, you know, the big thing about set pieces is we didn't have that last year. And, you know, when you're playing against these really good teams, you know, one goal might be it. You know, one goal and, you know, might be the difference. And, you know, we ha we weren't able to grind those results out last year and get those goals when we needed them. So, you know, the first goal against Arcadia, you know, from open play, uh, and, but then the next two, you know, a free kick and a, a long throw in. And we've we've got those weapons, so we got to use them. You know, that's one of our strengths. And, you know, if teams want to defend against us on them, then, you know, so be it. So, you know, don't give up long throw-ins um, but yeah this is something that we have worked on uh, all season you know once we had brought Elena into the team as a freshman we knew she had the long throw and it's something we've got better on as the seasons went on and uh, looking forward to playing again another really good team and ranked opponent in Messiah at home tomorrow night yeah, I know it comes quickly. So we knew this was going to be our toughest stretch, um, you know, and, and as we get, you know, every game in, in, in conference is tough because everybody wants to make the playoffs. Uh, but to go from the number six team to the, I think, number 12 or mm -hmm. 12 team in the country, it's uh, and Messiah, the defending conference champions. Mm -hmm. So with little rest, we've got to be ready to go again tomorrow. But, um, you know, I'm just so proud of the effort from on Saturday to, to go into that game and show no fear and be brave. And we've got to do it all over again tomorrow. Yep. So if the girls are, are ready for it, I'm ready for it. And we'll give it our best shot and keeping up a lot of excitement coming off of this game hopefully rolling into the game tomorrow night and then on to uh, Friday night with the uh, senior night. Yeah, and that's going to be another big one. You know, Alvernia, um, you know, they're right on the outskirts of the uh, the, the playoff uh, situation. So they're going to be looking to come in here on Friday and, you know, upset our seniors and, mm -hmm. you know, upset the uh, the balance and, and give us give us a loss at home. And, you know, we got to be ready for that. So, you know, as well as Messiah tomorrow, um, and we're taking it one game at a time, we will then regroup and come Wednesday be ready again to prepare for Alvernia and, and honor our three seniors, you know, Jess Demko, um, Alexis Sajak and Jordan Pareto have been great ambassadors for this program. And, and I'm excited to, to see them off on, you know, Friday for the, the last home, maybe the last home senior, you know, game for them. Mm -hmm. Well, Coach, I appreciate your time and good luck rolling out with this uh, momentum in, in homecoming week. For us. Thanks. We hope, hope to keep it going. He's Graham Miller. I'm Joe Wamba, and this has been the Coach's Corner. Villa Fest.